In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use text-to-speech in CapCut. To use text-to-speech, you must manually add and format the text. Do not export your video before adding your text. Text-to-speech doesn't work with auto-captions. The clip you just saw was an example of text-to-speech. In order to make this feature work properly, the first thing you need to do is manually add text to the video. Why and when would you use text-to-speech? Well, let's say that you don't like the sound of your own voice on camera, but you have information to share and you want to do a voiceover. You can use it in this case. Also, if you're unable to do a voiceover because, for example, you might have someone sleeping next to you as you're trying to put together a video, text-to-speech is a great option. Thanks to the release of iOS 15, the text-to-speech voices now sound more human. So for those of you who are uncomfortable speaking on camera, this is a good option for you. The text-to-speech feature is pretty accurate, but it's not 100%. So make sure you watch this entire video so that I can give you some tips on how to edit your text-to-speech once you've set it up. With my text subtitles now added, I'll scrub back to the beginning of the video. The first thing I'll do is select the first text box. Then I'll tap on text to speech. You'll notice that this only works with English. I need to wait a moment for the text to speech voices to load. Notice I've got three different choices. I'm going to choose the first American to male. activate dark mode tap more. You will then get a preview of how the voices sound reading the text you've entered. Just tap on the check mark and CapCut will generate a speech file related to that text. Move to the next text box, select it, and do the same thing. Of course, you'll want to select the same voice that you did before. Tap on, settings tap on American settings Mail, and, privacy. and then tap on the check mark to generate that audio file. Although this process is easy to set up, it's not always accurate. So you might need to make changes as you go. Let me show you an example. You'll notice that one of my subtitles says tap on to turn dark mode on. Scroll down and tap on dark mode. Let's listen to this next subtitle. Tap on to turn dark mode on. It spoke what I wanted it to say, however, it doesn't sound clear, but I'll add it for now and then continue. To get all the rest of my subtitles generated, I'll move to the next text box, select it, and Dark tap on the voice once more. You just heard the preview, so I'll tap on the check mark. Once you get this message, the audio file, audio file has been generated. Let's do the last one. Let's listen to what it says. Pay particular attention how the word arrow, which is spelled correctly, is pronounced. Use the back arrow to go back to your Facebook profile page. Notice how the words Facebook and arrow were pronounced incorrectly. I need to change that before I upload this video. So what I'm going to do is actually edit the text by double tapping on the text to bring up the keyboard. And when I do, I'll be able to change what the text says. To change the word Facebook and make it so that it's pronounced properly, all I need to do is put a space in between the words face and book. If you're on an iPhone, you can long press and hold on the spacebar to move the cursor exactly where you need it. Let's listen to what it says. Use the back arrow to go back to your Facebook profile page. Facebook is now pronounced correct, so I'm going to change the word arrow to the word icon because I know that this word will be pronounced properly. I'll simply tap on the text layer to select it. Then bring up the keyboard by double tapping on the text on screen and change the word arrow to the word icon. Once again, you can long press and hold on the spacebar and drag your finger to move the cursor where you need it.
Now it should say the word icon instead of the word arrow. To activate dark mode tap more. Tap on settings under settings and privacy. Scroll down and tap on dark mode. Tap on to turn dark mode on. I want to pause the video for just a second to change the subtitle to tap on. That way you don't hear the word on twice. Since in the next subtitle I say the words dark mode is now on. Tap on. Select the voice once more and tap on the check mark. Then tap on start reading so the audio file can be regenerated. Although you change the text, if you don't regenerate the audio file, it will still tap say on. what the text previously said, which in this case was tap on to turn dark mode on. Dark mode is now on. Use the back arrow to go back to your Facebook profile page. Did you notice that text? displayed on screen did not match that audio file? That's because I forgot to regenerate the audio file. You need to do this each time you make changes to the text. Select your voice and tap on the check mark to generate the new file. Use the back icon to go back to your Facebook profile page. Tap on start reading and wait for the confirmation message letting you know that the new audio file has been generated. Did you know that you can actually delete the text once your text-to-speech audio files have been generated? The text-to-speech audio files will remain even though the text on screen will be deleted. I'm going to scrub back to the beginning of the video and then I will select the first text box and delete it. I'll move to the next text box and delete each one subsequently until there are no more orange text boxes in the project. You may notice just below the video clip you'll see these little green lines. These are the audio files generated from the text. I'll delete the last one and there are no more text files in this project. Let me scrub back to the beginning of the video and play the clip. To activate dark mode tap more. Tap on settings under settings and privacy. Scroll down and tap on dark mode. Tap on. Dark mode is now on. Use the back icon to go back to your Facebook profile page. For more information on how to manually add text to make the text to speech feature work properly, check out the YouTube card on screen now or you can click the link in the description of this video. For more great CapCut tutorials, check out the playlist or this video recommended by YouTube.